So, game two, uh, MBL versus Doubt. Starting off in the dark age here, looks like we're going to see the same colors. Doubt is in blue, MBL in yellow, and are we seeing a Huns War again? This is another Huns War. Uh, I'll get to the maps in a moment. Let me take a sip of my favorite beverage here. Lovely. Okay. Please keep it rolling in the chat if you guys want to start early here since we're on five population. I'm willing to take anybody's wagers, uh, although not actually, you know, paying or taking any money. But if you want to put a wager down for what population each player will go up on, then we'll keep track of that, and whoever wins will be knighted. <laughs> I actually can't get you knighted, but we'll, we'll do something cool for you. Uh, I'm going to go, after looking at these maps just briefly here, I think that it's pretty open for MBL. I think it's pretty open for Doubt. I'm going to say it's going to be a 21 population up for both players. Uh, but until we get there... Let me speed this video up a little bit. Uh, we'll go on 60% if nobody minds, and we'll see what these guys are up to. So, Doubt here in blue, uh, if we look at his map, he has this really interesting stone pile in the back. Lots of structure here if he wants to try to put any walls up. He's got a secondary gold way on the front, his berries are on the front. Salty's going 22 total pop for, for both players, Salty. Uh, or just for Doubt. Um, and Doubt's main gold here on the front, and that's going to be downhill. So Doubt with a very open map that is not that great. Um, and let's see, is MBL in any better situation? MBL's got his gold off to the front as well. Barry's on the side here, stone on the side. He could definitely put a wall across here if he feels like it, which should protect a lot of his economy, and he probably can take this gold without too much harassment if he wants to. So I think MBL has the better map, at least for the early game, if Doubt can get some structure up. Salty's got 22 population for both players. Okay, so I'm on 21. Salty is on 22. Uh, would not be terribly surprised to see uh, very much aggression here in the Feudal Age, uh, and when we get to the Feudal Age, because it just doesn't seem like either player is going to be able to sit back and rest on their laurels. Doubt with three villagers on his wood line. MBL with three as well. Wouldn't expect to see a drush in this game, uh, but you never know. I guess we'll find out that fact very soon. Look at MBL here luring this boar perfectly into the center. He does lose a little bit of time uh, not killing it right away, but very nice job luring his boar in there. And both players are scouting the map. Doubt mostly looking at his area, starting to push some deer. Uh, MBL is much more committed to scouting out the entire area. The score thus far, Alibaba, is one game for MBL, zero games for Doubt. Uh, this is game two. First game was a Huns War. I know you were here for it, but just in case anybody new is here, uh, game two is also a Huns War. Uh, so we're seeing back-to-back -back Huns Wars, and maybe Doubt can even the score here. Uh, if we look at the ratings, they're actually uh, they've they flip flopped for the moment. The points that Doubt lost have gone to MBL, and MBL is slightly higher rated for the moment. Doubt's going to find his last two sheep. Uh, MBL is going to find Doubt's woodline. Doubt with a uh, score deficit at the moment since he hasn't scouted forward. But look at MBL. He's going to run right in front of Doubt's TC. He's Ooh, he's not going to take any arrow fire there, but he is going to just sort of hang around that area. He's actually going to run straight into Doubt's sheep, or is he? No, he's moved away just just before he could get there. I'm not sure MBL would steal sheep in a friendly game like this, but I wouldn't put it past him. I, you, you just never know. If, if the sheep are there to be stolen, I say steal the sheep. But anyway, we can see Doubt still trying to get these deer in, still pushing. Uh, MBL still scouting forward, and because of that, he's got a pretty large score lead. So, MBL knows what Doubt is working with. Doubt has no idea what MBL is working with. He is focused on food. I wonder if this extra, these extra deer are going to affect the up times. I have 21 up for Doubt. That's not looking terribly good because he's about to hit. No, he's got two villagers queued. So I think we're going to see uh, Salty be right about Doubt's population. As far as MBL, we're going to see 22 pop as well. So at least 22 population. Uh, maybe they'll go to 23 just so that Salty won't be right all the time. 
uh, but it looks like that is the safest bet. I think we'll see Loom very soon here. Uh, clicking on Doubt's TC, but I'm not on Doubt's character. Let's see. We're seeing Loom coming up for Doubt. MBL actually hasn't clicked up on Loom yet, so I think he might be grabbing another villager. It looks like he does get to 23 total population. <laughs> so thank you, MBL, for saving my skin. Salty will be the closest, but he will not be exactly right. It's going to be 23 pop for MBL and 22 pop for Doubt. Last game we saw scouts early. We actually saw Doubt commit to quite a few scouts. I think he might have built eight or nine total scouts. Uh, and in this game, maybe we'll see something similar. Doubt's going to have that slight advantage getting up. His villagers are loomed. If we look at MBL, his villagers are loomed as well. MBL grabbing some gold already. Interesting. Maybe we'll see some shenanigans here. Maybe we won't see just scouts right away. Uh, Doubt not taking any gold, focusing on getting some food. He is grabbing deer here on the front, uh, putting his barracks up to block this little uh, alcove, I guess you could call it. That seems wise to me. And it looks like Doubt is going to come up with some more structure. Let's see the game from his point of view. He is going to palisade off his side. So Doubt is going to cut down the angles that MBL has to attack from. That seems pretty wise to me. Uh, MBL is actually going to be coming forward. He's got a barracks down here, and I think that's a beautiful move because imagine a tower here. It takes away both of these resources, or even a tower here. can pressure the berries and the main gold. Uh, so MBL with a very smart forward, in my opinion. We'll have to see if it works out for him. Okay. So, for the moment, we've got... Um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Sorry about that. We've got uh, Phantom Coughs coming at me. The stable's trying to go down here for Doubt. Uh, MBL's going to delay that by just a second with his own scout. And we've got a Watchtower coming up on this hill. I think that's a very, very nice location. MBL putting three villagers on that, so he's going to be a little bit slower gathering resources. If we look back on his side, we see two, uh, two villagers grabbing stone. MBL losing his scout there, trying to do some shenanigans. Those two villagers on stone suggest to me that we might see another tower, or maybe not. I guess we'll have to wait and, wait and see. The late drush coming in from MBL, and I wonder if we'll see those go to men-at-arms soon. I think I think Salty would predict those are going to be men-at-arms. Let me know what you think, Salty. Uh, let, actually, let me try this. I've been told that, that I can type into the chat from game. see if that works uh, anyway that's Drush still doing some harassment we're going we're seeing double archery range here from MBL uh, we are not seeing men-at-arms I, I don't think I think we're gonna see archers it's gonna use that gold for archers but I'm glad to see that it works that I can talk to twitch directly without the delay and he says sorry can't see uh, and it looks like this spear is in some danger dragging those militia back uh, MBL's got to pull those away and he does doubt is going to get structure up here across the front eventually uh, and it looks like he's going to be able to do that before MBL comes back with his militia beautifully placed tower here oh audio only for salty hey fair enough my friend I uh, for a very very long time at work about a year ago I would listen to zero empires and barbecue Turkmen f every single day at work and uh, really got me through the day it's great when you work with your hands and not necessarily doing anything that you need your ears for uh, it's great to listen to games what's the status of zero empires is he still active I, I I'm not in his time zone I'm thinking maybe he's on twitch a lot but I'm just not seeing him somebody let me know what the deal is with zero Meanwhile, we're seeing more towers here from MBL, trying to put some pressure on. Doubt's scouts are going to be in here, and they might actually run right past this aggression and go to MBL. So four scouts yes. here for Doubt. One is his initial scout. Salty is agreeing. He loves he loves listening to games at work. Uh, oh, he's streaming Sunday. That's awesome. Uh, we'll have to try to get in there for that. Uh, do really love that guy. Really... Um, really got me back into playing this game his stream along with the play of doubt and the viper uh, and all of the great players who have been active for so long uh, along with him and Turkmen casting great games 
Uh, these scouts are going to get in here. They're almost certainly going to grab a villager. Unfortunately, only one of them is able to reach her. And these spearmen are going to be over, and they're going to grab one of those scouts, and they're going to get quite a few shots in on the rest of the scouts. So no villagers picked off there from Doubt. Uh, actually, MBL pulling off some shenanigans, walling in Doubt's stable here. And he's continuing to put pressure on with these towers. Doubt with a defensive tower. I think he's going to grab a villager here. MBL trying to get the last few pieces of Palisade up to block off Doubt's stable, and he will. He's also putting some pressure on the mill and trying to knock that mill down at the moment. These villagers must be getting low on HP. This one probably will be picked off by this scout in just a moment. No, he won't. Don't listen to me. I don't know what to predict. So Doubt has stopped the bleeding, uh, but I don't see a gold pile within his walls that he's going to be able to take. So Doubt is committed to stone at the moment. Uh, which I think very much plays in the favor of MBL. MBL bringing a spear in a little bit late to this wood line. Another villager in duress. She might go down. We'll see if this spear gets there in time. And it is enough to push it off. Salty's saying it's 16 GMT, but he's streaming on Vubli official channel. All right, 16 GMT on Sunday. I will look forward to that. Uh, one of my personal heroes, uh, maybe that's a strong word, but one of my favorite, most entertaining people to watch stream, uh, my absolute favorite, uh, Zero Empires will be on 16 GMT on Sunday. So if you guys are around, it's probably just me and Salty in here right now. I haven't heard a lot from the chat, but uh, nonetheless, if people are around, check those games out. Doubt's still here under pressure. He's got more scouts on the field has no problem building scouts since he's got pretty much a straight up farming economy. He's going to send a few more scouts and try to get some pressure. Unfortunately for him, this group of scouts just didn't get any villagers. That initial group of scouts really should have had two or three villagers in my estimation. Uh, unfortunately, MBL uh, was sort of backed into a corner where only one scout at a time could get hits on uh, and Doubt is starting to uh, he, he's not starting to. He just wasn't able to get the pressure that he wanted. Seven scouts total for Doubt. Couple of them on low HP. MBL still pushing on the front with towers. MBL with a nice little pack of archers here. And his Drush militia are still alive, although getting pretty low on HP. Those military units are going to either head home or they're going to try to circle around. We'll have to keep an eye on them. It looks like they are circling around to try to hit Doubt from the other side. Uh, and the scouts from Doubt are going to be coming in the back door here. They're going to be met by a couple of spears. Uh, those are not uh, bloodline scouts, so they're going to go down if they come up against too many spears. However, a group this big will take that spearman down pretty quickly, and these villagers are going to be pushed off of this gold, and probably a few of them will die. So two villagers down there, another spear for MBL. He's going to be able to push Doubt's scouts away. One of these scouts is on 3 HP. We'll have to keep an eye on him. He is going to get that Spearman for free because MBL is not microing very well. He was chasing one around. Very nice micro there from Doubt. Gets a Spearman for free. Uh, MBL on the backside is going to grab a villager, but he's going to be a little bit late. Those palisades are going to be backed up by stone walls. MBL not retreating off of this gold quite yet, and I think it's going to be a problem for him if he doesn't get out of there. He's going to lose potentially another villager, one would think, although those villagers are in the fight, and they've gotten Doubt Scouts down pretty low. So MBL is going to continue to, to mine gold. This one villager on low HP, I think he'll probably cycle him out eventually, uh, but for now he will push Doubt's Scouts back. Uh, MBL keeping the pressure on here. Uh, he's using his militia to get him through that palisade. Uh, unfortunately, that wall is partially built, so he won't be able to get in that avenue. And when he does get in, he's going to come up against a defensive tower from Doubt. So MBL doing a really nice job here in Game 2. The score is 1 win for MBL and 0 wins for Doubt uh, thus far. Uh, and he's doing MBL is doing another great job here, really trapping Doubt in his own end. I think Doubt is at a disadvantage in the long run, but at least for the moment, he is up to castle first, and we'll see if he can get some damage in. Doubt undoubtedly, uh, sorry for the pun there, um, balancing his economy with his market. One would think that he's having to buy gold since he can't mine it anywhere. Uh, double stable up for MBL. 
So we're going to see some aggression from MBL when he hits castle. We'll probably see some knights. The nice thing for Doubt is that he's castle age. The not so nice thing for him is that he doesn't have any castle age units. I mean, he technically does have light cavalry here, but um, it would be nice for him to have some cav archers or some knights or even some crossbows in this situation. Um, he is going to clean up this aggression from MBL, so I guess the light cavalry will be enough for the moment. Uh, but I think pretty soon he's going to start seeing knights coming into his area. And he's going to have a lot of trouble taking them down with these light cavalry. Plus one defense for those light cavalry so far. Uh, and let's look from MBL's point of view. For those of you just tuning in, we're watching MBL versus Doubt from today. Uh, this is a match played on Voobly. These games were rated. They're uh, not part of any tournament series that I know of. I think they're just a nice little 1v1 set of three games. Game one went to MBL, and right now we're in the Castle Age, of course. Uh, MBL with a nice forward aggression here. Uh, but we'll have to see what he does once he hits Castle. I was thinking he'd go Knights. We'll wait and see what he does, does go. What is he going to go with? Not seeing any units being built yet from MBL. We'll keep an eye on that as it goes. In the meantime, Doubt is going to come forward with those light cavalry. and He's going to be here just in time. This watchtower is probably not going to be up quite yet. Uh, these spears will push those light cavalry away. But they're heading straight toward the TC here, so we'll have to see. If MBL garrisons that TC and garrisons this little tower, he should be able to defend this pretty well. MBL upgrading two pikemen right away. So playing a little bit defensively, he is putting a couple of knights on the field on his own end. But for the moment, I think it's more interesting to watch what Doubt is going to do here. Doubt starting to put some pressure on that mining camp. Uh, as far as TCs go, we don't see a second TC from Doubt doesn't really have the room to put another TC up. Uh, we do see a second TC from MBL, but he is under pressure at the moment. A couple of quick stone walls here might be able to block him, uh, but he's going to actually retreat off of that and send in the pikemen. So the pikemen upgrade actually seems like a smart move for MBL since he's coming up against so many knights. Uh, I don't know if they're going to be there in time to save the bulk of these villagers. Uh, they should be able to. This one is certainly going to go down. I hear another one dying, so Doubt getting some good pressure on. These pikemen need to get into the fray here, uh, and they need to rescue these poor little villagers. MBL not retreating off of that area, which is kind of interesting. Uh, he does end up taking out the knight, and he has the light cavalry, cavalry cleaned up. More knights coming from Doubt. Uh, meanwhile, MBL on the front is building a few knights of his own, but largely not doing a whole lot with his army. He's going to build up this second TC, and I think he's going to try to boom on the pretense that Doubt is busy. Uh, Doubt's busy trying to uh, take down that front offensive, one would think. Eventually, Doubt needs to take this down so he can get this gold. Uh, just a little bit of pressure here from Doubt with just a few knights. Just trying to harass MBL's economy. Seems to be working at the moment. MBL is defending with pikemen. He's starting to mass those up in pretty high numbers. Looks like seven for him now. Uh, and those are going to push back knights pretty well. The problem is he's relatively open, so those knights might come back again to bite him. He's distributing those pikemen all around his area, and his second TC is now up. So the villager count is 45 for Doubt, 36 for MBL. Doubt doing a really good job getting some pressure on MBL. Doubt getting a second TC of his own up, and it looks like the villager count is going to be in Doubt's favor for some time. MBL seems to be on the defensive at the moment, uh, building a lot of pikemen, uh, not really seizing the initiative. I thought he had a really great opportunity to push Doubt back. Doubt had to build an early market. He hasn't mined any gold that I can see thus far this game. Uh, so I thought MBL was sitting very pretty. Uh, and he still is. He still has a very nice offensive here. Uh, but I didn't. he's not exactly crushing the Castle Age how I thought he might. Uh, we can see pikemen being distributed everywhere, waiting for more knights to come in. That is a little bit of a good thing for Doubt since he isn't actually sending the knights forward at this time. He's going to send one in to remind MBL what's going on. 
Uh, he's going to grab at least a villager or two with that one knight, which is always a very nice thing to be able to do. One villager down. Unfortunately, that knight is taking on pikemen, and that's not what you want him to do. That knight is going to die. So, Doubt's offense for the moment neutered. Um, MBL did lose quite a few villagers. I think he did lose the initiative a little bit, but he's going to put another stable up. He's going to continue to commit to knights, uh, and he still has taken away Doubt's gold. So, at least at the moment, I think it's advantage MBL. Another TC up on the front here for Doubt. Interesting location for him. He's still not going to be able to take any gold or defend any gold. But at least he'll be able to build more villagers and uh, have a nice protected area here. Chow Lucy is back in the room. Everybody say hello to Chow Lucy. <laughs> Chow Lucy is, uh, has been helping me a lot troubleshoot this stream. She's writing her thesis, which is uh, one heck of a hard thing to do. Watchtower on the front here for MBL. Very nice uh, later in the game watchtower again from him. We saw that in game one as well. Doubt sees it. He's going to put a counter tower up, and his tower is inevitably going to be up first. Uh, so MBL is probably going to have to abandon this at some point. Uh, we see Pikeman as well from Doubt, which seems like a smart move. He's anticipating MBL's knights. Uh, MBL coming with a few more. He still hasn't massed up very many. And look at this. The knights taking on the Pikeman for MBL. He's, this is not good micro for the moment. He loses two and a half uh knights for free and uh you never want to lose stuff for free those villagers do finish that watchtower which is an interesting turn of events i thought they were doomed for sure i wonder if they can reach doubt's wood line over here at the moment it looks like they're shooting the barracks but i can't see the arrows uh more knights in here from mbl not exactly what you want to do with your knights taking on pikemen head on but that's his choice uh, and he's finally going to be pushed back from that area. So this tower seems like it's inevitably going to drop. Uh, MBL's forward is starting to look a little bit like it's in trouble. The problem is he's building knights and he's coming up against pikemen, which is never a good thing. MBL is still wide open on his side. Uh, his offensive pressure has slowed Doubt a little bit. Doubt's gotten a lot of great pressure on during this game. The populations are very similar, but we can see Doubt with a 9 uh, villager advantage at the moment and it looks like doubt has a chance to seize game two and even up the score one to one uh, well we watch that tower get rushed down I guess we can bet on whether these villagers are going to die it seems like they probably I don't know they're both gonna make it to this other tower so for the moment MBL still with a couple forward villagers that are alive still harassing doubt and still building Knights no cap archers from either player thus far. Uh, Doubt seems to be fully committing to pikemen right now and building his economy. I haven't seen him send out any more knights, and maybe that's a smart move. He made MBL commit to pikemen. He made MBL build actually quite a few pikemen here. There might be 10 or 12 here, uh, and then he pulled back and stopped building knights. Seems like a good move in my opinion, I did see a third and fourth TC for MBL. So it's three TCs for Doubt, four TCs for MBL. Is that right? One, two, three. I can't count. It's three. Okay, my bad, people. So three TCs for both guys at the moment. A defensive watchtower here for MBL. Uh, seems like a decent idea, but uh, I guess he's committed to this forward. He does have quite a few knights here. If he can get into Doubt's economy, maybe he can do some harassment. The problem is that there are just a whole line of pikemen waiting for him to come in there. Rams coming forward now for Doubt, and those pikemen are going to come with those rams. That seems like a very smart move to defend them from the knights. Uh, not sure who's got the advantage here. It looks like MBL can give up on his forward and go in and get a bunch of Doubt's villagers if he wants or he can try to defend his forward. It's going to be a choice that is up to MBL. He's got a lot of money invested in this front area. Two archery ranges, three stables, and a bunch of towers. Uh, for my money, I think he should run in and maybe grab some of these villagers. We'll see if he goes around to the other side. Those pikemen getting more free hits, but in general, these knights are running away from them. We're seeing villagers coming up across the front here for doubt. I wonder if he's going to put up a wall or try to get some uh, oh he's got a nice little trap of MBL's knights there and doubt is gonna drop a forward TC and he's gonna start grabbing this gold now that his rams 
are taking care of MBL's forward. I still think there's time for MBL to run into this back area. I wonder if he even knows about that back area. I think he does. It would be uh, a lot of villagers there free for the pickings. Uh, but uh, maybe wisely he's going to pull back and let this forward area go. Looks like the Rams are going to clean that whole thing up. Uh, and for the moment, we'll just watch Doubt reclaim his gold. So a really nice game so far for Doubt. He hasn't mined any gold until just now. Uh, we are 37, 38 minutes of game time in, and Doubt has finally claimed his front gold pile. That's uh, pretty amazing that he's still in this game, and he's actually winning this game. Uh, 13 villager advantage for Doubt, and now he's got villagers on gold. Da -da -da -da. MBL on the front here grabbing a couple of these rams. Look at this huge mass of pikemen. I wonder if Doubt should split these up a little so that they can be more effective. And here comes MBL around the horn. Will he go in? It's time to go in, MBL. Come on, my friend. Go in. Oh, he's not ready to yet. He's going to come all the way around the horn, uh, and he's going to grab this, this ram, uh, and he's going to save his forward. I really think once he gets that ram down, and he gets this ram as well, I think it's time for him to go into Doubt's area. He needs to get some of those villagers back. He's down by 10 villagers at the moment. I'm seeing men-at-arms being cre created um, from MBL. Those are going to do really great against pikemen, uh, but he does need to mass them up before those pikemen take the whole area down. MBL also upgrading to long swordsmen, uh, so he's going to combat Doubt's huge army of pikemen uh, with long swords for the moment. Seems like a wise move. We'll see how it works out for him. Uh, we've got a wolf here in the fray trying to run alongside these knights and maybe get a bite in or two. Unfortunately, we're not going to see a wolf kill. Oh, I love wolf kills. I don't know if any of you have seen the stream the last couple nights, but I'm a huge fan of wolf kills. Here come those long swordsmen. There's only about six or eight of them, seven of them, uh, but they should be able to clean up quite a few of these pikemen. Interesting move from MBL, uh, actually building three forward, four forward barracks, and he might spam a few of these uh, long swordsmen for a little while. Why not? Seems to be a very good unit to clean up these pikemen with, uh, and he's doing quite a good job cleaning them up. Running his knights around, keeping them from taking too many hits. He's going to take down Doubt's tower here. He's inevitably going to get this ram. And all in all, I think MBL has seized back the initiative in this game. He's up now by a couple of points, maybe 10 or 12 points. The scores are flipping and flopping. Uh, Doubt does now have his gold on the front. MBL planning to drop another late game tower on Doubt on top of the hill. And for the moment, both of these guys in Castle Age really putting pressure on one another. And we're seeing quite a few long swordsmen from MBL. We're seeing some upgrades on those as well. So not just a couple of shekels invested in those, he's actually building quite a few. And he's going to use those and his knights to pressure this gold until his tower comes up to annoy it. Forward stable coming here from uh, Doubt. Doubt starting to mix in a lot more knights. I don't think he's going to replenish those, long so uh, those pikemen because of the long swordsmen from MBL. MBL taking Doubt's gold away for the moment and taking a few villagers along with it. He's soon going to have a tower up that will be in range of that gold. I think that's a brilliant move from MBL. The only problem is that Doubt has a little bit of an army on the field that might be able to stymie his progress. MBL still locking Doubt into his area. I think he's playing a really nice game here. Uh, he did win game one uh, by really keeping the pressure on, and uh, here in game two, he's trying to sneak out a win doing the same thing. Those two watchtowers in the front doing a lot of harassment, taking down villagers, uh, stopping Doubt from taking this gold, and at the moment, we have 110 vills for Doubt and 100 for MBL. So Doubt still with the villager advantage, but no real access to gold. And we're seeing a full-on melee in front of Doubt's TC here. MBL has superior numbers in my estimation, uh, but Doubt's town center is getting quite a bit of shots in as well. Uh, we see a ram here that's probably going to go down before it reaches its destination. Uh, it is headed for that tower. That seems like a wise move. You have to get that tower down if you are Doubt. Uh, but unfortunately, that ram is on... 
20 health, and it looks like uh, MBL is going to come around and take it out. So for the moment, that super annoying tower of MBLs is going to stay up, and he's going to continue to harass Doubt's gold. Both players really fighting for Doubt's front gold. That seems to be the main focus of this entire game. Since early Feudal Age, uh, MBL has had villagers forward building towers and pressuring this area. So it looks pretty stalematey to me at the moment. MBL with more uh, units on the field. He is grabbing more villagers. The villager count is starting to get a little bit close. It's still 12 uh, in the favor of Doubt. Uh, the problem is that Doubt has 23 idols. They are hanging out in TCs or they're being harassed uh, quite a quite everywhere. Uh, we see MBL pulling back a little bit here. He's going to start massing up a few units, I think. Uh, and then he might try to beat down Doubt's front door. Interestingly, MBL has not really worked his way around the other side. There's a lot of villagers here for the pickings. Uh, if he was able to get even four or five knights in here, I think he'd do a lot of great harassment. But he's doing a very nice job on the front, keeping the pressure on. Uh, it looks like it's MBL's game to win in game two. Although Doubt still having the villager advantage and still having a very strong chance if he can push this forward back from MBL. Uh, MBL with another watchtower on the front there. He's really reinforcing and committing to taking this gold away from Doubt. Doubt's actually trying to mine that gold on the front with a couple of villagers even while garrisoning the town center right next to it with 10 more villagers. Uh, more pikemen here from Doubt. Those are going to do a great job against the knights, but there are still long swordsmen in the mix for MBL. And this is really turning into a messy, messy area. You can see corpses from every unit you can name on the ground around this area. Uh, MBL for the moment is going to pull back those knights, and I wonder if he's ready to come around to this nice juicy side that we just talked about. It looks like he is. So he's going to have seven knights there, and they're going to head straight for this wood line. And I think they're going to get many, many, many villagers here. Uh, those villagers will take refuge in the TC eventually, but there are just too many villagers for that one TC. And it looks like MBL can really put this game out of reach for doubt. If he can maybe grab eight or ten of these villagers, I think it'd be a huge boost for him. Uh, not sure how I'm going to try to keep count here, but I see Doubt's villagers going down. MBL has eventually uh, has pulled away, interestingly. Uh, he does have one knight left in there, so he only gets maybe three or four, maybe five villagers there uh, before abandoning ship. 700 point lead, 800 point lead for MBL at the moment, uh, but he is done trying to chop down those fat juicy villagers. Uh, populations right now are in favor of MBL, but total villagers are in favor of Doubt, 126 vills for Doubt, uh, and Doubt really having that villager advantage throughout. The problem is he has quite a few idols, 22 idols at the moment, uh, and he has nowhere to take gold. I wonder if, if Doubt will strike out and try to find another gold pile to go after. He hasn't scouted any of the map. Uh, Salty letting me know that uh, Twitch is dead for him. Sorry to hear that, buddy. Hopefully, I am not streaming to an empty room, but if so, who cares? At least I'm still watching a really nice game of Age of Conquerors here. Uh, looks like MBL is targeting this TC. He's going to get that down, even though there's many villagers repairing it. I say he's going to get that down. It doesn't look like he's going to get it down right away. He's going to have to kill those villagers first. The villager population is still 12 in the favor of Doubt, so Doubt is still cranking out villagers. MBL is using all of those resources to crank out knights. Doubt is going to try to get gold. He's going to try to get it right here, uh, right in the middle of MBL's forward. That forward TC is down for Doubt. He's losing quite a few villagers now. The, the villager lead for him is now only 7. Uh, and it looks like MBL... Oh, Sinkin! Oh, wow, Sinkin is here again. Good to see you, buddy. Yeah, we're going to get a, a video from Sinkin eating a hat. Or at least, I think the guy in the video just puts the hat in his mouth. I'm not really sure that's eating. A uh, couple more towers here from MBL. That seems to be a theme. Uh, MBL won game one, uh, and he, part of his win was dropping a couple of towers late in the game on Doubt's Woodline, uh, which is an interesting tactic. I, I don't really think to drop towers late in the game. Uh, looks like full aggression for MBL, and we're going to see a game that ends in the Castle Age. A very long Castle Age war. 
Uh, this TC is going to go down. It looks to me like the writing is on the wall for doubt, and there's the good game. 